Hello everyone, Lady De Winter here, and today I wanted to talk to you about a project I'm making and the yarn I'm making it with because I'm really loving this yarn. Really. This is called Flawless by Yarn Bee. And this label's not on as good. Let's get the other skein. <laughs> okay, there we go. Flawless by Yarn Bee. This is Oh my God, I love this yarn. This is so beautiful. And it is so soft. It's a little bit pricey. It's $6.99, $6.99 a skein. So it's a little bit pricey, but it feels so nice. It is, uh, let's see. What is, oh, it's a number three weight yarn. Number three weight yarn. It is washable. They say not to dry it, so I won't. Um, it don't iron, don't any. I guess you can't apply any heat to it. But it is a number three. And they recommend a D3 hook. But I, for the project I'm working on, am using a J hook, which is a. Uh, I can't see it. It's so dark in here. Six millimeter. Six millimeter hook. This is beautiful yarn. I love it. I bought two skeins to start out with, started making a project, realized I didn't have enough yarn, so I went and bought some more. Now, I'm using the colorway Sunwashed Riviera. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but yeah, Sunwashed Riviera. It is beautiful, and what I'm making with it is a shawl. And I started this before and took it all apart because I didn't like the fact that this was so big and I can't figure out how to stop that from happening. But as you see, let me get that loose. It kind of has a like a lump to it there. So, but anyway, this is what it looks like worked up into something. It has beautiful peaches. And then it goes into kind of a tanny brown. It's got some pale gray, some dark gray, some cream. And then it goes into this lovely, lovely, I guess you would call it terracotta or rust. And it's just a beautiful yarn and it feels so nice. So, now I'm not a big shawl wearer, but this is something that I would be willing to wear. Um, this is just, it's beautiful, it's soft. Now, I bought enough yarn, and I may even buy more of it. Who knows? I might buy more, um, because I'm going to make the shawl, a matching hat, a set of hand warmers. Now, if you don't know anything about me, you know I'm cold-natured. I live in Georgia. Right now, it is 58 degrees outside, which is semi-warm to me. It's 73 in here, and the 73 in here is cold to me. So, uh, that is why I am making all kinds of little winter things for me to wear. And yes, I'm crocheting while I'm talking to y'all. And I could sit back, but the problem with sitting back in this chair is then my feet don't touch the ground. Yeah. So, that is why I'm sitting kind of forward for y'all. And that's why you can't see me crocheting, because um, the, cam the thing that holds the camera doesn't go down any further. So, but this is what I'm making, and I'm really, really loving this yarn. I'm loving the way it feels. I'm not loving the price so much, but, you know, hey, what can you say? Um, now, I've got several projects going, and I was thinking about starting to do a maybe once a month whip uh, video where I talk about the works in pro progress. I was also going to start doing a few yarn reviews. Um... My local yarn store is Hobby Lobby and Joann's. We do have a Michaels in the area, but I have to be honest with you, I'm not real wild about their selection of yarn. They don't seem to have near as much nice yarn as they used to. They used to have a lot of nice yarn. Buddy, what are you doing? My cat is being a cat. So, let me scoot up a little bit better. So, there we go. But, uh... I'm not overly impressed with their selection of yarns over at Michael's. Um, 
because my local Michaels has gone way downhill in selection and everything. I mean, they've got art supplies up the wazoo. The only thing I can think of is there must be a lot of artists in my town because they have art supplies up the wazoo. Now, nobody's buying the art supplies because I've noticed the same art supplies have been in there forever. But, and Joanne doesn't have as large a selection of yarn as I wish, so I do buy a lot of yarn online. Now, this yarn here, Yarn B, Simply Flawless, or is it just flawless? Yeah, Simply Flawless. I bought this at, at Hobby Lobby at the store. They have a decent selection of yarn over there, but they pretty much factor their own brand. They don't offer a lot of... They did have some Lion brand um, theory of color, two of wands theory of color yarn over there. None of the colors I needed, but they had it. And uh, so, but I, you know... It was just that I didn't, I don't like working with that particular yarn. Now, this yarn is not necessarily easy to work with, but it makes up for it in colorway and in, in, oh, excuse me, in um, colorway and softness and just, oh, wow. That must be my coffee coming back to talk to me. Anyway, it, it works up beautifully, as you see. This is going to be the project. And I'm probably going to make it very long, and I'm thinking about fringing it, but maybe not. I haven't decided. Um, so, and I will show you the progress of it. And, But I'm going to start doing maybe a weekly or a bi-weekly yarn review where I talk about what I'm making and the yarn I'm using to make it with. Because, folks, i got quite a lot of yarn. Now, some of the yarn reviews might just be the same exact brand or the same exact yarn over again, just in a different colorway or a different texture or type of, like, um, let's say, for instance, Simply Flawless one week, and then one week I do just straight yarn B, and then one week I'll do uh, Hobby Lobby, I love this cotton, and another week I'll do Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, and then maybe I'll do a bulky. So, you know, I'm going to do basically not so much the brands, but the type of yarn that I'm working with. I'm a little bit selective with my yarn. Uh, if I'm going to pay good money for yarn, I want it to be a good yarn. So, and I have bought Red Heart in the past, and I've got some Red Heart. I'm going to make a sweater using Red Heart, uh, Premier, and um, I think it's Big Twist yarn. And I'm going to call it my Coffee with Cream sweater because it's brown, co cafe, ole, ole, co I can't pronounce it, coffee with milk in it, or coffee with creamer in it. And then the top is going to be the cream colored yarn. So, I thought that would be a cute sweater. Now, I'm still working on my Winter Sky sweater, and no, this is not it behind me. Uh, this is a blanket. I've got a lot of that yarn. So, that is a blanket I made to warm my feet and throw over my legs when I'm out here in this chair. During the summertime, believe it or not, the air conditioner is over there, and it comes straight across this chair. It's like even with me almost. And in the summertime, when the air conditioning is on, sometimes my legs cramp so bad from the cold. So I have a little blanket behind me that I can use for that. But, hey, when you start getting a little older, you notice the cold a lot more. So, and that's why I've got a little scarf tucked into this shirt. This is a long sleeve shirt, but my neck gets cold. That's why I wanted to make the shawl, because I'm hoping it'll help keep my neck from getting cold. So... Anyway, if you have not tried, if you have not tried this yarn yet, I highly recommend it. It is just absolutely beautiful yarn. And it feels soft. It feels squishy. It's wonderful to the touch. Oh, wow. It is just wonderful to the touch. It's so soft and smooth. It feels kind of smooth. And it, oh, it's just beautiful. I love this stuff. 
I wish it wasn't so expensive. I'd make myself a sweater out of it. But it's a little bit pricey for my budget. So, anyway, that's today's video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you go and try that yarn. You can find it at Hobby Lobby. Again, it is the Yarn B Simply Flawless, and this colorway is Sunset Sun Washed Riviera. So, six ninety nine a ball. Which, if that doesn't, if that doesn't daunt you or turn you off, this is perfect, perfect yarn. So, until next time, this is Lady De Winter reminding you that you're never too old to do anything you put your mind to doing. Thanks for watching, and try that yarn. Bye-bye for now.